Hello everybody and welcome to another Thrill Rise Photography video and today we're going to be checking out the new virtual towers online. So just to start off, so the actual version that I've got at the moment is the version 0.2.12925 and this is the latest version at this time of recording which they've done a lot of updates to and opened up a lot more areas around the park. So yeah, let's go and uh, jump straight in and uh, we'll start having a look what's different. Here we go then, so when you uh, first start up the game this is what you normally get uh, met with. So you've got your different variations there, so the bits that they've done. You've got your options just up here, so we're just going to click on the options itself. Settings, so you've got the controls, so just quickly uh, get that photo of that. And then we can think, so you've got your kind of your standard movements on your W, A, S and D, spacebar for jump, E to interact, and then your cinematic view, and then you can scroll as well with the uh, zoom with the uh, mouse. So let's just go back there. So let's just have a look at the actual videos, it's video quality. So I've got it on uh, 4K, windowed, resolution half, and dynamic on, limited, and then uh, off there as well. And the quality I've got is uh, Ultra, uh, which is probably the best one that you get. Uh, so hopefully the PC picks up and uh, does that perfectly as well. So let's just go back. You've got your audio bits on there. Let's just go back again, or we could just literally go to story mode up here. So what we're doing now is going to go into the story mode, and then we'll enter the game. So here we are. So you'll first met... Uh, straight out the actual monorail station uh, which is what you would normally would see uh, as soon as you come off so actually a great start to the game uh, is actually actually where you would normally come off uh, as if you was coming to the park normally the way i would normally go is through this gate just there um, and i would just be parking uh, kind of just as close as i can to the park and then walking this way through um, i do love the monorail but, but sometimes you just get a little bit busy so i do prefer just actually um, walking and then I can just obviously take my time back as well all this is kind of new for uh, last year uh, so this is where you get your tickets and your pass upgrades and, and little bits like that as well and then you get kind of met with this amazing bit of sculpture there which is the corkscrew uh, that was there some time ago so let's just quickly go move up to the actual plate itself and it shows you a little bit more so they've kind of done a lot of detailing so there we go, so you've got your lift height there, track height, the length, sorry, uh, the uh, lift, got the base, velocity, capability as well. So yeah, absolutely fantastic. It looks exactly as it would do. So the corkscrew 1980 to 2008, sorry, was uh, Britain's first giant corkscrew roller coaster. Fantastic. So yeah, you just go through, carry on going uh, as we do here. You've got your virtual towers kind of line going all the way around. Um, and then you've got just here the map. So this map represents what is actually available to walk around at the moment in time. So let's just scroll in a little bit. Hopefully you can see that. So you've got the Wicker Man open. You've got the Mutiny Bay that's currently being worked on but open as well. You've got all the fields at the front. Smiler, Spinball Wizard and oblivion just there as well and x is currently open but you can only see the front of it as well so yeah that's some of the map that so far they've been working really hard to update this i know the last time i came on here uh, there was only the smile and oblivion x sector open right let's uh, carry on through but yeah all this is brand new for last year and uh, they've you know they can see that they've already updated it in there as well so let's go and enter into the park. You've got a uh, fantastic tower just there as well. So that would normally say Alton Towers, but for this virtual towers. And then I would normally go into this annual pass area here. So I would normally get up to this bit here, scan my annual pass, and then you go. And then what normally would happen just here is uh, you normally have security that just goes through your bag. Um, and then just make sure that you've got, you haven't got anything in there that you shouldn't have. But yeah, look at this. If you have been to Orton Terrors, you can kind of see how much detail in they have put in this uh, this kind of program. If you haven't, I'll turn the take your own. So just there is where you get your all day lockers. Uh, so there's small ones and there's big large ones as well. And then just straight ahead of there, 
uh, just up to that point there you've then got the toilets as well uh, which you can use so let's just zoom back out I'm gonna go this way today normally I would go the other way but today I'm gonna go this way just show a little bit more of the park from this side it's weird really how people would choose different ways uh, to get into the park so which way would you go would it be the left or the right but yeah just the detailing of it it's it's incredible it really is the uh, the bunting which i know is there at the moment uh, and then you kind of come through tower street and then hopefully we'll head towards the little frogs and see if they're working there we go so there's the frogs and currently working to perfection so looks really good but you can't you can't jump into the water they have blocked that off i did try that one already um but uh, so they've done a really good job there stopping you getting in let's jump back down from there so just over here is where you would normally get your um, your upgrades tickets uh, fast tracks everything like that is just there as well and as we move down um, so this here I'm actually unsure if it's here or not uh, which is celebrating 40 years so I'm not too sure if that is actually there in real life so it'll be quite interesting to see when I do go if they have got that there but if not they've done a fantastic uh, thing there of actually showing it off so as you look straight ahead now you can see that the towers are currently there and actually do look like they resemble uh, the towers where they didn't before i'm just going to move around just slowly and then you've got um, their cbb's land which is currently uh, kind of being worked on uh, which is all boarded up first thing i'm going to do though guys i'm going to walk around to the wicker man um, and uh, show you uh, kind of the route on the way and they're just kind of things that pop up as we go along so yeah fantastic kind of detailing it just looks uh, really really good in terms of the quality um, of the actual video itself um, so just to kind of a uh, heads up so for the actual fireworks themselves uh, this is where we would normally be standing just here right on the edge of the rocks there um, and then it just gives you that really nice point of uh, the towers in the background and normally the center point of the actual firework display and then we'll normally stay at the start uh, queuing there for around about four uh, four hours before the show um, just to make sure that we do get that spot for recording or taking photos whatever it may be right then so I'm going to carry on through and then I'll, when I get a little bit closer I'll uh, start to uh, show you guys and uh, show you a bit more okay so the reason i've stopped here is i just wanted to show you some of the detailing that they do uh, on uh, the actual uh, online experience so when you come through to this bit here you can hear the alton towers music playing um, and then when you walk into mutiny bay uh, the actual music stops and then you have the mutiny bay uh, music playing it just shows you the, you know the quality and the detailing that they've put into this game itself uh, it's fantastic it really is some quality stuff so I'm just going to stop right here and just quickly pan around so as you can see there so we've got some work being done on these ones here uh, and then you've got uh, the wall which is blocked off there so for you to be able to go over to the wicker man what you'd need to do is just carry on towards this bit here um, slight turn um, and then you'd be able to then just walk straight through here uh, through the bar area or it would normally be a scare mace uh, if you're in scare events um, and then you can just walk straight through the actual should hopefully let you walk straight through the benches or climb over the benches straight into the sounds of the wicker man So again, just going to show you, so as soon as you walk into this bit, the music stops, and how cool is that? Brilliant. And then you just get the nice sound there. What I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to go towards the entrance. Just going to get a nice shot of... So 
to turn around now. So look at this in terms of quality. So it's a bit jolty, and probably because I've got it on ultra uh, with the PC uh, just kind of not uh, kind of keeping up. But yeah, look at that. I mean, that's a thumbnail in itself, isn't it? Right there. But yeah, nice little big bob there. Uh, so we can manage currently closed uh, there. But you can, I don't know if you can actually go in or not. I think they've just completely closed. Oh, you can, yeah. So you can walk through. I'm not going to walk all the way through there because it's just a long walk as it is. And uh, you can't run or anything in this game. So it just takes you ages to get everywhere. So I'm just going to quickly come out of there. But it just shows that the actual queue line is available now. Really nice smoke effects on the Wicker Man there. Just going to carry on going up a little bit more, enter towards the shop area, and then we'll turn around. All right, let's turn around now. You've got the kind of the fast track area there, and then we'll turn around, see the train flying straight over, and there we go. Look at that. We come on. Right, should we see if we can get on the ride? But first of all, let's have a look in the shop. See if there's anything to buy in here. Wow, look at that. So we've got some uh, T-shirts for sale there, Wicker Man T-shirts, the Monopoly game and Top Trumps there for sale. And at the moment, oh, that is all. Everything else is currently uh, blank. Right, it's time to ride the Wicker Man. So you just go down this bit here. This is where you'd normally go for the fast tracks. And then just here, obviously, you've got your different variations. So you've got the exits just there. Uh, and then this would be the, the doorway you'd normally go in. So you just head towards the door and press E. And then in theory, what should happen is if it works, or tab, in some instances as well, it works, um, you should hopefully be sitting on the ride. And here we go, we're off. So uh, absolutely quality detailing uh, on this and uh, it'll show you as you go around. So the smoke as you go through and then straight into the weird lift hill. Which was actually designed to allow the train to go underneath uh, the lift hill because it just wouldn't have worked otherwise. I think it's probably one of the only rides out there that actually got the a lift hill like that. It just takes its time getting up there. So at this point in time, there's no, you can't really do anything uh, with a mouse or look around or anything. Uh, it is just literally a straightforward POV uh, in virtual world. So just coming to the top now. Again, the smoke starts, and then should be here. Just come off the lift hill now, and off we go. Woo! Nice little bank there. Through the structure the first time. Wow, quality. And again, double dip way straight through. Carry on round. Slowest part of the ride just here as it goes around the banking. And down again. Straight through the structure again. Just finishing off now, just going into the uh, the brake run just here as the other train goes off. There we go, Wicker Man POV virtual style. I've done a really good job of kind of doing the detailing. So I know this bit here is completely blank, but actually in real life it is completely blank. So I've done a really good job there of showing that. Right, so just press tab and you come back out of there as well. Just going to spin you around and uh, we'll quickly just have a look. So if we're going to actually go this way, that's where you'd normally leave. Right there. But if you have a look, you can actually see uh, that's where the uh, photos would normally be. And as you go through here, which we'll go through, is the shop. So this is where you would normally get your merchandise if you wanted any from here. Probably one of the best uh, shops, actually, uh, in terms of quality of stuff. There we go. Nice little show there of the fire going through. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do now is head towards the towers, um, and um, it takes a long time, so I'm going to stop you there. 
and then uh, I'm going to then show you pick up uh, when we get close so if there's anything that I'd like to show you so yeah I'll catch you in a bit So I'm just going to stop here and I'm going to show you. So this is um, what's so one of my photos that took some time ago it was from this angle here. And if you hit it at the right time, you do get an amazing sunset. So this just shows you, as you can just see there, the oblivion train just coming. And also then you'll also get the smiler train coming as well. If you do get the right kind of time frame, you do get both of them in the same shot, which oh, I just missed it there. Um, but yeah, it's just a, uh, another great way of uh, getting some more photos. So normally use a nice zoom lens at that point, uh, and then yeah, just um, you do get a really fantastic picture from there. Uh, one of my favourites that I've done. So here's another great place to stand, guys. So if you um, you walk towards the terrace itself from the Wicker Man, you can actually get to this bit here, which is the bridge. Um, and obviously you've got the gardens just to the left-hand side there. But uh, what is another great viewing point is just here. So you can get a really good shot there um, of the Smiler. Uh, so I'm completely zoomed in at the moment uh, to show you guys. Um, but yeah, look at that. Absolutely brilliant. You've got the ducks going along there. Uh, and then you've got a fantastic view of the towers just in front. And you carry on walking down, and it's just a little detailing like if I was going to walk across here now. Um, looks great. Unfortunately, you can't jump into the water. Um, I have tried that. But let's keep going down. And if you then just want to come off the bridge itself, you'll see yourself drop down. There we go. So it just is quite realistic in terms of the stuff that you can do on here. And if you want to get back up, you just can go up the steps there. You can't jump back up. But we're going to carry on walking through. And then um, so we'll walk through Hex, have a look at Hex, and uh, look at the towers themselves since they've been updated. So here we are a little bit closer now to the towers themselves and just going to kind of pan round and just have a quick look. Look at that. Wow. They've done a lot of work to get this right. Look at that. Looks fantastic. It's just going to move over a little bit. Look at that. It looks fantastic. Really, really good there. Quality. Some really good detailing as you go through. So just going to walk down a little bit more. Uh, they've got the little uh, hydration station. This is where I'd normally stop um, to uh, get myself a drink. Going through, you've got the uh, the queue line there, so they're all closed at the moment. And the virtual towers online. So well, he's got some loads of different uh, social media bits that we'll tag in at some point as well. But yeah, look at this. And then you walk through the towers. Even this bit here just looks just so real. It's crazy the detailing that they've done here and obviously with the other places that you would be able to go at some point just going to head down to hex uh, and show you kind of that so unfortunately the ride itself um, isn't open in this game at the moment uh, but it is something i believe that's going to be coming out shortly um, but yeah it looks great and uh, so far i mean glitch free i think we've literally had nothing um kind of happen which is great. So it just shows you, uh, you know, the rollout of this has been done very well uh, to the point uh, that they're kind of making sure that everything's done and, uh, you know, working correctly before they move on and open up another bit. So well done to the guys for doing that. Nice little fountain there. So just going to pan round now. There we go. There's towards the cars, which is now the David Williams area. And here we go, Hex. Oh, I'm just going to zoom out a bit because I've just zoomed in a bit too much. There we go, look at that. that. Is that a shot on itself? Is that a thumbnail right there? Look at that, that's quality that is. I like that, that's brilliant. But yeah, so that is currently uh, closed at the moment with the gate just being there. But I think at some point they will open it. Look at that, it's quality in it. 
just the door slightly opened as it is normally so hex the legend of the towers fantastic in it wow Okay, I'm just going to stop here and show you uh, the view of just down this pathway here. So normally I'll go along the top, but actually I thought, you know what, this time I'll just go round the bottom bit and have a look through. But look at that. I mean, as surely as an enthusiast, every single one of you have got a photo of somewhere like that at some point. But yeah, look at that. Look at the detailing. Good quality. And uh, yeah, look, even just stuff like the actual bushes themselves, uh, you know, the flowers that are on there are absolutely, you know, perfect to actually how they are in real life as well and then you've got the actual board itself so the board is there in real life and they've also got it in the game look at that so let's just quickly do that there as well look at that should give you a little of a um, website to go and have a look at at some point i think that's another little thumbnail in itself right there isn't it boom so we're going to carry on down now towards the smiler area so yeah, I mean, you know, at this point I would have been at the other place um, a lot quicker, but I just wanted to go around this way really and just see what there was. In terms of the controls themselves, guys, I know I went through it first of all, um, but you do use the mouse to move around, so just go in, uh, move it backwards and forwards, up and down, there, and that will direct you to where you go. And then you use the W button to go forward, um, and then you've got the uh, D button and then the A button to go the other way and then if you want to go uh, backwards um, it was also the S button so we're very close to each other with the E button being the one that does the command to allow you to get into certain places so here we go the smiler and oblivion so I'm not gonna go through the toilet bit and cheat but I am going to show you that little bit in a second and I'll tell you why when we get there but yeah, look at this. Just brilliant, isn't it? Let's have a listen. As he just goes. Wow, and then Oblivion's just going down there as well. Oh, and we just got it going up. Look at that. So they don't duel, I believe. Uh, they are just slightly away from each other. But to be fair for it to work, um, I would be quite happy not having it dueling and actually being on it itself. So look at that. Brilliant. Right, let's carry on going through. And I'll show you the reasons why. Go to the toilet. So head towards this way to the toilets. Uh this way is the women's, this way is the men's. So you do feel a bit weird uh, being here, but the reason why I go here for is because you do get an absolutely fantastic view of the track. So if you uh, just get your camera, put it slightly above there, and you do get an absolutely fantastic view there of the smile and just move over a bit more. So that's generally the view I would go for. Just gives you a, a kind of a nice overall uh, look of the track. And you do generally get some really good fantastic photos of the actual people waiting to go up the, uh, the second lift hill. And then the toilets now are working. So just go into here. While I'm here, I'm just going to go to the toilet. I'm going to go to this one. Uh, just wait there. So I'm not going to look down, 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 not going to look down. No, no, I'm not going to do it. No. Okay. And then after going to there, please make sure you do wash your hands for 20 seconds there we go so straight in there and then there isn't any actual uh, hand dryers so unfortunately we are gonna have to just walk out but there you go guys just a little tip there for you with a smiler it's if you go to that point there you um, you do get some fantastic photos here we go so we're gonna move straight into the X sector area You've got Oblivion just going down there. Look at that for a view in itself. So the plan is, so we've got three rides here at the X Sector. So we've got Oblivion, we've got Enterprise, and we've got Spoiler. So the plan is actually to get on them. Uh, so we should be able to get on 
uh, at least a smiler and uh, Oblivion hopefully should be able to get on but the Enterprise as well we should be able to get hopefully on at some point so yeah what we're going to do first is obviously go to the smiler so let's move out just pin round there and that's what you get look at that detailing in the marmalizer just there so you've got the front entrance with the cameras look at that wow so here we go so smiler you belong to the smiler so it's closed but we are vips so we are going to go on it so i'm going to go down this way this is the normal way i do go uh generally because i uh, most of the time visit parks on my own but you can listen just as you go through you know the noise of the ride itself um, gets louder um, and obviously the sound of it as well and you do, another great place to stand for photos um, is actually just here so the fencing has been put down a little bit um, and you can get some really good shots here and they've, they've articulated it really well in this game because it is actually exactly how it is you get some really good shots so I've got the shot that's just there there as well and obviously just over there what we're going to do is go into the single rider queue carry on going walking through and then we should be able to just pop straight into the thing itself so they've done a lot of work in here now so they've put all the kind of the graphics in if it had just been a blank station and we're just going to head straight through there and then if you have a look up you've got the actual rollers just in case they made it darker which is quite nice because it actually replicates uh, actually how it is up the stairs we go and then we're going to go right left right and then head to the front what we should be able to do now is press e for us to sit on the actual ride and let's ride the smiler together Here we go. So the restraints have just come down. You'll see the lights start to flash. There we go. And off we go. First kind of uh, inversion. Straight there. That's it before hitting the first block section of the ride itself. So that would allow one train to then start going. This is then goes into the second block section of the ride. So in theory, what they could do then is as soon as this one starts getting to a certain point, they can actually set another train off uh, ready, which will give you. So we're into the second block section of the ride here. So you've got the little panels going down as you go up and you can actually hear that. You hear that just as you're going up. So then you just go past the next sensor here and then you're set into the third block section. Let's see what this ride like. Listen to the noise. Airtime. this is the last inversion before going into the straight bit just here and we should go into the straight bit so this one is then the third, uh, sorry the fourth block section here where you would wait then for clearance here you go look at that so again no movement to the mouse or anything while this bit is uh, running uh, I don't think it needs to, to be fair. And uh, probably the worst bit of the ride for some people, uh, this little bit here. Um, and then you can just see that the other one's just going off now because it had the clearance from the third block section. There we go, so we're going on now to the fifth block section. Oh, 
We're going to then come up to the best bit of the ride. After this inversion right here. Go straight into the airtime moment. Straight down. Brilliant bit of the ride that is there. And then we finally come into the worst bit of the ride, which is not this inversion. This one there. Which is the most painful one out of them all. But there we go, just runs into the last block section. Uh, and then there's just that little one there into the station. So you can hold the train there and then go into the other bit. So there you go, the Smiler POV virtual style. So I've just noticed as well that you can actually get on the back rows. Never knew that you could do this. Wow, look at that. I just thought it was the front row you could do, but wow, look at that. That's crazy. I think that's been updated since the last time because I didn't really notice that before. Here we go. Off we go. So here you could pick a row um, on the Smiler. Which way would it be? Would it be the front row? Would it be the back row? Which row would you go to? Here we go. Wow, I do like it from this view, actually. That does look really cool. Airtime. You can see it in the actual uh, video itself. Wow, look at that. That's cool. Only for the last inversion. I wonder if it would, um, it would jolt like it does in real life. It would be quite interesting to see. Here we go then, so we're going to just wait now for it to get to the top of the lift hill um, and then we'll see if it does actually do that last little bit and what the airtime looks like. Here we go, right to the very top. And off we go. Listen to the noise. Here we go, best bit of the ride coming up right now. Yeah, look at that, I love that. doesn't really jolt but there we go look at that love that didn't know you could go to the very back so quality to see that is hello everybody and welcome back so unfortunately there was a glitch in the game there uh, so i actually couldn't get off the ride um, i was stuck on there just going round and round so i was pressing everything that i could do um to get off so i've had to walk straight from the park all the way down again um but yeah so i don't know if that was something that was should have happened or shouldn't have happened for me to go on the back row uh, but it did uh, it did glitch it unfortunately so uh, yeah I am now back though I'm just going to head round now towards Enterprise first of all and uh, we'll see if we can actually get on that now it's currently in motion it's just coming down so hopefully we'll be able to get in there uh, and get on it itself so I'm just going down the actual exit here uh, which obviously is the wrong way uh, but why the actual ride is in motion let's have a quick look to see uh, if we can have a look at the control panel there we go there's the control panel there so the wheel start wheel stop ride program stop the lights main power on and off and then arms as well yeah there we go look at that just go around so we should be able to get on it uh, so the plan is now is to wait for it to stop and uh, we'll see if we can get on the ride as we look around at oblivion there into the brake run section where you'd normally be sitting 
for a few minutes. There we go. So if my calculations are correct, there we go. Look at that. Here we go. So the ride's about to start. Wish that would happen in real life. Automatic uh, door closers. And hopefully we should start going. Yes. Perfect. Look at that. So one of the first upside down rides you can really do as a child. So this is a one meter ride. Um, so you, uh, yeah, you do um, get to go upside down for the first time if you have a little one that is brave. Uh, like Jake did once uh, he went on it, uh, was probably one of the smallest uh, children to go on it, or 1.9 I think it might be, sorry. Um, so yeah, he went on it a couple of years old. Really enjoyed it, and the video I think is actually in the... Uh, and the YouTube playlist. Here we go, so we're upside down now completely, so the wheel is actually in full motion here. Enterprise, still a staple uh, ride at uh, Alton Towers. Absolutely love doing it. I have to try and get on it every time I go. Uh, do enjoy it. Not many flat rides, unfortunately, at, um, at Alton Towers anymore, so yeah. Yeah, that's probably one of the reasons why I do like going on it. Look at that. It does actually feel like you're on it, doesn't it? Because it makes you dizzy just watching it, to be honest. Crazy. There we go. We're just going down now. So there's two glitches in it as you're right. There's one. And obviously the other one we've already seen as well. So, oh, another one. Glad that doesn't happen in real life, it take you out. And we're just coming to a stop here now. Will it stop where I uh, entered? Oh, coming up to the station now, so it could do. Nope. Look at that. So just wait for the doors to open. There we go. And then we should be able to then just exit the ride itself. Look at that. Wow. Worked to perfection there. So well done on that one. Uh, let's have a look around and see if we get onto um, the Oblivion one now. Right, let's try and do this fast track way to get through the queue line. So again, the queue line. Absolutely perfect to actually how it is with the screens. Go in. So here we go, we know the station. Let's go in and see if we can have a look at a ride. Let's just go in here. We want to try and get into this one, really, don't we? But we've definitely got to do front row if you're on Oblivion. Love the music. Just up there is normally just massive Bose speakers, quality. Right, let's see if we can get on it this time. Let's press the button. Or tab. No. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yay, we're on it. Oh, this is great. So finally it works. So I think it might be something to do with the car you have to go on to then. So if you are playing this, um, try and do the same route as I've just did. So go to the fast track area, not the normal standard one. Um, because yesterday it just wouldn't work whatsoever going on there. So it looks like hopefully this will work. Um, and we can actually take a ride yeah there we go look so it is working so yeah it must be something to do with the car itself so just if you get onto the back one uh, front row you'd be able to get on there quite nicely hopefully we can complete a whole circuit working
here we go, Oblivion. So completed in 1998, the first B&M dive coaster in existence. Um, so this one isn't a uh, 90 degree angle. It is slightly off that. And the reason is for that is because the uh, B&M trains at that point uh, didn't have spring loaded wheels. So it would actually hit the bottom of the drop with a FUD, which was something that they didn't want to do. So to get over this, they actually just uh, slightly put the angle slightly out to allow it to uh, not uh, fud as it went down. And uh, yeah, so even though it is um, the first dive coaster, it wasn't the first 90 degree one. Um, but there is just still something about this ride uh, that still kind of intimidates uh, you. Uh, you know, it's not the tallest in the world, um, but I think where they've positioned it, uh, you know, it does really show it off. Uh, and the height off really well. Um, I think it's just down to as you kind of come round the bend in a second, you don't really have anything in front of you at all. So it just feels like you're higher than what you are. Um, and I think that's probably the reason. That's how I think anyway. But yeah, so we're just coming up now. So you can just see like there is nothing in front of you at all. It just gives you that illusion that it's taller than what it is instead of seeing rides and so forth. Um, so yeah, that's what I think. But here we go. Just going to go down now. So we've got don't look down. And there we go, out the other side, straight the way around, and into the brake run. Yeah, fantastic. A lot of people do say, you know, why don't they add more elements or something? Could they add more? I don't think so. I think it does exactly what it's supposed to do. It's the world's first, it's pioneered the way for the likes of Sheikha of Alvaven. Uh, Baron as well, so there's you know some fantastic rides out there now based off just this one. So no, I don't think uh, they should add anything to it whatsoever. Um, I'm quite happy with it how it is. So let's get off this ride now and then let's close the video. Here we go, we're off the ride. So it did work perfectly that time. Just grab our bags and then we'll walk through. And then there is just one more ride that we need to go and see, which is Spinball Wizard. There we go, nice little thumbnail there. Just keep going around a little bit. Let's get the whole of the shot in there. There we go, nice little one there. B&M train going up. Right, let's head our way out now and then we'll head over to Spinball. I believe that will be the end of the video. Uh, comment below, guys. So, what do you think so far? Have you enjoyed this Virtual Towers video? Um, is, it, is it something that you'd like to see a few more? Uh, I'm going to go this way. It's probably a lot quicker, actually, than going through the shop itself. And I'm just going to end this little bit here and show you uh, a spin ball in a second. Just going to end with the actual view just here. And actually, no, I won't. What I'll do is I'm going to show you this. How the smoke changes where it goes. Look at that. That's cool, isn't it? There we go, guys. So I'm going to take you over to Spinball Wizard now uh, to show you that uh, before we end the video. Okay, welcome back, and here we are. So this is the last little area that's available to view uh, in Virtual Towers Online. So, wow, look at this. It looks really, really good, actually. Probably better than the ride itself. Um, but, yeah, let's have a quick look around this area. This is the last area before we close up this video. But I just wanted to see uh, what they've kind of done around this bit. And, yeah, there you go. So they have actually blocked that off as well, which is a shame. But yeah, I do like these uh, little money things on the floor. But yeah, so numbers generating along the top, which it does. Uh, you've got your 1.2 section there, uh, and then your spin ball. Yeah, but that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video of Virtual Towers. Um, hopefully, I can do some more in the future, depending on what updates that they do, and if you guys like it as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll speak to you all soon on the next one. And I'll catch your ass down the road.